Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the Nelson, one of your selections for this month, and a very, very surprising ship, certainly unique in its genre. And it's certainly an interesting ship because you don't need to pay anything to get it. Well, it will cost you two, well, cost 250,000 free XP, but that's, yeah, if you're free to play, then that is one of the few premiums that you can get without actually spending one single cent. But do you get what you pay for in terms of playstyle? Well, it's certainly a ship that has a few advantages and many disadvantages as well. So maybe we'll start with the stats and then we'll go back to the gameplay. So if you don't want to see the stats, you can fast forward to 2 minutes and 30 seconds. And immediately we notice the issue with the Nelson and that ship simply has no armor and a very, very low survivability. Only the Lyon is doing worse at tier 7, that's not good. So you really, really have to think twice about your positioning with the ship. And unfortunately, your speed is also not going to help you get into key positions quickly. So yeah, uh, it's not an easy ship to position. Uh, the good news is your turn time is excellent. That will allow us to focus on other equipments than uh, traverse equipments. But okay, time for some good news. You do get very, very good guns. 9406mm guns. That's excellent at tier 7. And they're all positioned at the bow of the ship. That is very good. That will allow us to play it a bit like we do play the Lenin. Now we take very aggressive positions, provided you get there one day. The accuracy is also not bad at 60%. That's uh, actually average at, uh, at tier 7, but that's good enough. And we do get a very good HE shell with the amount of fires per minute at 4.9. So HE is a viable strategy with that ship, but you probably know that already. What you probably do not know is that your AP is the best against tier 6 targets. Yes, your AP shells with the Nelson are doing a tremendous amount of damage against tier 6 battleships. Not so much against tier 7. For those, you might want to switch to HE. Secondaries, the Nelson gets AP secondaries, 6 152mm guns, that is very, very good. I usually improve them with my equipment setup. And you also get auto secondaries, you do not get any torpedoes, obviously. So all in all, you do get a very, very decent DPM at tier 7. And yeah, unfortunately, well, almost no AA, so expect to be targeted by anything that flies. So alright, back to the gameplay, so we do not have any survivability. And we're not very fast. So uh, what does that mean? We're going to be looking to position ourselves next to islands. We want to be using the terrain to protect us as much as we can. A bit like we did in the landing game because we do have that excellent position of the turrets. So here, as you see, I'm, I'm never going to be first anywhere with that ship. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and so all my team is going to, to fire and to be spotted behind, before me. So that's actually why the Nelson does not get deleted immediately in every single battle. You also notice that I started with the HE shell loaded, simply because your first target is very, very likely to be a destroyer and the Nelson's HE is absolutely brutal against destroyers. And the AP secondaries are not bad either, so maybe we can delete this one. No, uh, we're not fast enough. So uh, concretely, when we talk about HE versus AP, what you want to be doing with that ship is you want to be firing AP at um, any battleship tier 6 or any tier 7 or tier 8 that has basically weak armor. So for example, here I'm going to uh, unload my HE shell on that fuso and I'm immediately going to switch to AP. So destroyers, light cruisers, you will be using your HE shell, uh, heavy cruisers and lightly armored battleships or tier 6 battleships, AP. Just fire AP, you will be doing a tremendous amount of damage. So for example, let's see what we can do against that fuso. Um, full broadside at 9 kilometers, very good, let's see. Ah, okay, okay, a couple of hits, very, very good. And you see that I'm still hugging island with that ship. Uh, I want to remain as protected as I can from the damage that might be coming in the other direction because I see that there is a ship on the other direction. Uh, ah, let's see what we can do. Yeah, now it's showing me a nice, nice broadside. Another salvo here. Let's see if we can finish it. Uh, <laughs> Yes, the AP is absolutely brutal against, uh, I would say, less armor targets with the Nelson. So do not fire HE at everything you meet. Do me a favor, do not fire HE at everything you meet. And please, 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 whenever it's possible, do not park that ship in the open because you will get deleted very, very quickly. So what is the next target? Ah, now it's Gneisenau, so you will need to switch to HE. 
So immediately I'm adjusting my position and unfortunately I do have a battleship behind me but my team is going to take care of it, I hope so, because I'm not in a position to do very very well. That's the issue with those ships. Huh? Uh, when you got all your turrets in one position and the enemy ship is coming in the other one, then yes, you will not be doing very, very well. So yes, the Gneisono, let's unload our AP shells and then we immediately switch to HE. And now I'm becoming increasing, increasingly protected by the island, so that's really the nice positioning with that ship. You really want to use the terrain to cover your armor because you do not have any armor. I, I'm actually thinking that they've... <laughs> <laughs> They've reused the SM armor as the original victory on this one because they call it the all or nothing concept, but I think they went with nothing. So the, the Nelson is just going to take every single salvo that's fired at him. So we just fired eight sheep, only two hits, not very, very good. But we're gonna keep at it. So again, moving back and forth, I'm going to retreat behind my, my island to protect me. And we're in a position to fire another salvo. I'm going to aim a little bit higher because I want to hit the superstructure of that Gneisono. That's my advice when you're... Oh, very, very good. That's my advice when you're firing HE. You fire a little bit higher than expected. And oops, nice surprise from that destroyer. It's one of the good things about playing Nelson is that <laughs> destroyers will be so afraid of charging you that you can be uh, aiming a little bit higher. And how many fires do we get this time? <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> amazing ship, really amazing for that. Uh, <laughs> so now we can leave that one down. And we can actually take care of the destroyer that's behind us because I, it's still going to be an issue. Uh, where is it positioned? Ah, it's, it's, is it charging, on a, charging us again? That's very, very brave of him. Uh, we do get AP secondaries. We're going to be using them right now. And you see, they're actually quite good. So they're quite decent. Uh, they're not German, but they're, they can certainly deal a lot of damage. And we also get AP secondaries. Auto secondaries. So that's it. End of the destroyer. So that's not going to happen very often, a destroyer charging you in a Nelson because they know that you are mostly going to be uh, shooting HE at them and you can easily deal in them in one or two salvos. So that Bayern, we're immediately going to fire HE and then we switch to AP. And we're going to be using our blistering pace to get close and maybe try to get a couple of shots done to him before the end of the game because the gameplay is pretty much over by now. So can we get on time, close enough to fire a couple of shells at the Bayern, we're going to give him a nice AP broadside. And sure enough, uh, there we go, how much damage this time? Let's see. <laughs> very, very good. So yeah, the Nelson is certainly a very, very capable uh, ship with AP. So at the end of the gameplay, it's time to recap what did we learn today. Well, we do learn that we should think twice before we use any kind of ammo with British battleships, and especially with the Nelson. Destroyers, light cruisers, you use HE. And you use HE as well on heavily armored battleships, for example, a Bismarck or a North Carolina, or even a Colorado or a West Virginia, for example, a Gneisono. And then anything that is lightly armored, for example, tier 6 battleships or Lyon, Ashitaka, Amagi, um, what else do we have? Gascoigne, for example, on those, you fire your AP shells and obviously at other Nelsons, then you use AP because you're going to completely obliterate them. So there you go, that's the end of the guide. I hope you've enjoyed it. It was certainly fun to make uh, and I, I kind of like playing the Nelson, to be honest. Uh, although it's not very, very fast, uh, it's one of the, <laughs> the few slow ships that I enjoy playing. But yeah, don't expect miracles out of it because you won't be getting any. And so that's it for now. I'll be seeing you soon. Stay safe, take care. That was Defram above, signing out.